Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, for today's topic I want to talk about health insurance because that's a very important topic and many people who come from the West like Europe or USA they think they cannot live without health insurance. Um, yeah, so when you move to the Philippines, you have to decide if you want to have a health insurance or not, because you cannot, or from my knowledge, you cannot easily join the Filipino health insurance as a foreigner. Even you are married to a Filipina, you cannot join to the same insurance. That's what I know. You can correct me if you have other information. And even if you have the Filipino health insurance, they only pay a part of the cost, not all. So maybe 50%. I'm not sure, but for sure not more than half. Um, yeah, so even the Filipino health insurance is not, uh, you're not fully covered. So then you have to decide if you get an international health insurance. And normally for a vacation, it's very cheap. It's just um, around 10 euro a year. And I used one of those uh, travel insurance. Um, when I was on vacation in the Philippines and yeah it was very cheap just a few euro and then I got sick and I went to the hospital and I stayed there for four or five days and the total bill was uh, 25,000 peso so I had to pay all of that up front with my own money and then I kept the receipts and when I arrived back in Germany I went to the bureau of that insurance company I gave the receipts and then I got the 25,000 peso back so that was a very good decision for me to have a health insurance for a vacation um, but even when you're sick and you have a big bill, I still have to pay upfront with my own money. And the insurance could not send me money or I didn't know how to do it, that they would send me money. So they always prefer that they want first the receipt and then they will send you the money later. Okay. But but when you move to the Philippines, it's a different topic because you cannot use the same insurance because those travel insurances are only for a few months. When you move to the Philippines permanently, you need another insurance and that's much more expensive. It depends on the age and your health condition. It can be like 100 euro a month or even more. So it's Let's say if it's 100 euro per month, it would be 1,200 in a year. And for 1,200 euro, I could be two times sick in the hospital for four days per year. When I compare it with my um, hospitalization that I had before. And I don't think that I will be in the hospital every year two times for four days or I would have to be more than two times a year in the hospital for four days so that the insurance would be worth it so I think it's better in my opinion if you just save the money let's say instead of paying 100 euro to the insurance company every month you just save it in another account. Uh, you, you just 
um, put it aside for emergency and I think that those emergency money will last uh, for most hospitalization and sickness um, because most of the time it won't be something dangerous or something that costs a lot of money that you need expensive medicine every day which will be thousand euro per month medical cost of course if you want to I, I'm not the person who always want to be safe for in every situation so I take some risk and yeah I hope that um, it won't be in the worst situation but to save some money I'm willing to take some risk and think that especially if you're not that old and you don't you don't you don't you're not sick and you're not expecting that there will be a chronic disease that will cost you a lot of money every month then I think it's better to not have um, insurance and just have some emergency money for an old person who is retired and older than 60 years old it could be different then that's another topic and everybody has to decide by themselves and depending how they feel um, and how much the insurance would cost especially when you're older then it will be more expensive but for the people who want to move to the Philippines and give up their safe life in their home country you always have to take a risk so why not also with the health insurance okay that's all for today I would like to know what's your opinion about health insurance if you really say that it's a must you cannot move to the Philippines without it or can you say just um, most Filipinos they don't have health insurance or if they have one it's only they cover just very little so they can also survive I see many old people they are 60 years old 70 years old they don't have health insurance they are still fine working so if they can do it why not we okay that's all for today and see you next week bye